in the second quarter final of the Foster's Cup. Collingwood kicking to the right, North Adelaide kicking to the left. That's the main scoreboard end. Knocked away by Fellows. Shaw puts Collingwood into attack up towards their half forward line. Very hard to mark a greasy ball tonight. That's almost a throw out to Williams. Here's a goal coming up from 10 metres out. And the Magpies off to a great start at Field Park. That goal taking only 20 seconds. Good play on the part of Manson then, uh, Bobby. It's an excellent piece of play, uh, Lou. And that's a start that uh, you couldn't even imagine better. As Tony Shaw puts the ball forward. Manson going up for the mark. Arnold trying to come through. And a nice hand pass over the top. Tiller diving in, but too late to stop Mark Williams putting through the first score. And even now, we're only 45 seconds into the game. Neville Shaw. This kick is only a short one. Picked up, no, almost picked up by Carlaw. Campbell's in there as well for North Adelaide. Now it's picked up by Riley. His kick is also short. Jarman goes for the hand pass. Arnold. And the Roosters get the ball forward. It's Campbell again. Short pass down towards the right half forward flank. Looking for Dietrich and he's got him. Well, he was kicking them from about there prior to the game when they were having their kick in, but he goes with a short pass across the ground. Robertson. No, Robertson, number 34, up towards the 10 metre square. And that's a grab taken right in the square by Parsons, I think it is. And Parsons, very dangerous for the last game against Melbourne. Certainly so, was. He very impressive player. Not around the, only around the forward line, Bob, but in the ruck too, Pete, wasn't it? Yes, he played a very good game. In fact, I thought he was in their best three, Lou. And he's six foot eight tall and very mobile. And a top basketball player too, they tell me. Parsons from only a few metres out. Let's see if he can guide that one through. I think it's OK. He scores a level at VFL Park. This is the second uh, quarter final. The ball hits the deck. Kicked off the ground by Shaw. A fumble goes on there. Overrunning the ball was Robertson. It's pushed out now. Klopp's grabbed around the neck. That's a name we'll never forget. Klopp. <laughs> you won't forget. You've got, got to get the TV, will he? This is the brother of Klopp. Robert Klopp that played many games with Carlton. The ball back there. Morewood in front. The ball tapped down. Going after his Tim Lord. Picked it up nicely. A hand pass comes out to Garrison. Back it goes to uh, Burgess. Collingwood get the ball around the wing position. There's a good mark taken by Wildey. This is Wildey of uh, North Adelaide. Scores a dead level. Oh, pay that mark. It'll go uh, to uh, Robertson. And Robertson has the ball now for North Adelaide on that uh, centre wing position. Six points apiece. Ball back there towards their half forward line. Big Arnold trying to get into position. Tapped out a clop again. Coming in as Antrobus. Everybody's looking for him. I believe he's signed up with Essendon. It's uh, punched out again by Parsons. The ball goes back to Parsons again. He's still getting plenty of use of it. It's picked up now by Morewood. The kick is high. Back towards the wing position. That's Cam uh, beautiful mark to Robertson again. And he's been in the thick of things since the start of the game. He certainly has, Lou. Uh, often plays on the wing, but a very busy player and has plenty of pace. Well, he's gone for a pass, looking for the big fella pass as he looks as though he could be the... The feature down there at the full forward position around that area, and the ball is out of bounds about... Uh, Lovely mark on replay taken by Robertson. Well, out of bounds on that half forward on about 55 metres around from the North Adelaide goal. The ball hits the deck. Hart tries to get clear for North Adelaide. Back to Robertson again. He juggles that one. Going through is Kerrison. Kerrison shows a lot of dash. And the ball is shot back towards Collingwood's half forward line. Punched away from Manson by Arnold. Tiller picks it up. A hand pass comes over to Riley. Back it goes now to Wildey. Uh, oh, a free kick. He's going to throw. Free kick going to Williams. Back it comes now to Manson to mark this one. Was that interference? I think it is. Yes, it is. The umpire said it'll be a free kick. And he's only about 10 metres out from goal directly in front. And I wouldn't like to put my house on this one with this from the way he kicks. But he's got to kick this one. Scores dead level. One goal, six points apiece. Well, he'd walk home if he missed it, wouldn't he? Four and a half minutes gone of this first quarter. The second uh, quarterfinal of the Foster's Cup for 1986. Well, Manson had a hand in the first goal when he shot a hand pass out to Collingwood skipper Williams. And that's a goal. Fellows and uh, big passes to go for the knockout. Well, neither got control of that one. Back it comes now to... Uh, that's uh, Timmy Lord uh, getting the ball back there. Down goes uh, Riley. A hand pass comes out now to uh, Jarman. Jarman's kick is short. That'll be a mark to... Uh to North Adelaide, Pointing. and it'll be Pointing, the ex-Fitzroy player that grabs the mark there, about uh, 25 metres out from goal, and this play fella played a slashing game last time uh, against Melbourne. Good mark, strong mark, 
He was pretty heavily attacked that time by uh, Sumner. Now he's got a chance to kick their second goal and put them in front because he's only about uh, 25 to 30 metres out from goal. There it is on its way. And uh, they hit the oh, post again. Otherwise. That's the second time they've done that this early stage of the match. Ten and a half minutes gone. It's North Adelaide, one goal, three nine points. To Collingwood, two goals, 12 points. Phillips, just past the 10 minute mark. Looking for McEwen, and McEwen takes the mark just up from the back pocket. Goes for a short pass up towards the centre wing position. Mark taken by Mullane. Mullane's kick likewise, not a long one. Loose ball just about over the boundary line. In fact, it's cut it over there now. Pretty well on centre wing position by Armfield. A boundary throw in to take place between wing and right half forward flank for Collingwood. Cloak juggling for the front position. Loses it out to Big Redden. Tony Shaw takes the hand pass. It was from Collins. North Adelaide defending pretty well. That's Titter. His kick bouncing about a metre inside the boundary line. And once again, it will be a boundary throw in left half-back flank for the Roosters at the 11 and a half minute mark of the first quarter. Well, they've had a lot of the attacking. Two posters in that score of one goal, three. Collingwood, two straight for 12. A difference of three points. Clark again looking for the front position. Over the top was Redden. Now the Ruckman getting a decisive tap out. Plenty of red and white there on the boundary line. The ball paddled further forward up towards the centre wing position. Once again, it's going to be a throw in. Bob, they're a very aggressive side. They never give up this crowd. You think they're gone and they come back all the time. Yes, uh, they've got a lot of height and a lot of pace as well, too, Lou, as well as being, uh, as you said, an aggressive team. Redden wins this one. Tried to find Antrobus. The ball socket away by Smith. A chance for Williams, who kicked Collingwood's first goal from a 10 metre square arm field. Almost beats him to it. Williams, great hand pass. Abernathy, the former South Australian, but the ball hustled through for behind by Tiller. That's Collingwood's first. 2-1 to 1-3, a difference of four points. So the ball to come back into play now. Wildy. Goes to the outer side, and that's a great mark taken down there for them by Arnold. towards the centre wing position. Fellows fumbles or tried to get it back to Neville Shaw. Couldn't do so. Now he's gone for a hand pass. Finds Shaw this time. Shaw goes for a hand pass. Taken by his brother on centre wing. Tony Shaw from left centre wing. Long kick down towards Manson. Ball slithers through his hands. Tiller goes for the hand pass. Looks for the boundary line. We should say it's out of bounds adjacent to the small scoreboard in Collingwood's forward pocket. Pete and Bob, I believe that uh, Timmy Lord uh, has lost his contact, contact lenses and he may have to leave the ground. Well, we had one lost at the MCG that's last right, Friday. That's right, that's bad luck right. for the young yeah. fellow playing his first game for the Magpies, the son of Stuart Lord. Ball driven back there towards that wing position by Simmons. A bit of fumbling going on. This is Tony Shaw breaking clear and Tony Shaw is in rare form. Back it goes to Smith, couldn't hold the mark because Riley was there. Hand pass coming back for Manson, intercepted by Klomp. Klomp of North Adelaide goes wild, but there's Morwood, couldn't hold the mark. Bennett's after him. He gets a hand pass back to Gaifer. Gaifer with the ball back now. Sumner's kick is a poor one, but it's okay. It's grabbed by Neville Short. Turns nicely away from Wildey, but he grabbed it. It was a good tackle. Antipas going over. It falls over. They pounce on him. Manson got him around the neck just about. Going after it now is Jarman. He can't get it either. Scramble out there on that half four line. The umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to North Adelaide. It'll go out there to Wilby. He's a strong uh, player too. They seem to be a bigger side than Collingwood. So they've got quite a bit of height in, uh, even apart from their key position players, Lou. Ball getting clear now. That uh, taken away by Robertson, who's played very well in this first quarter. The big fella Parsons got the mark. He's playing well already. Well, he's a good player, and uh, I mentioned before he's an Australian uh, hand, uh, basketball champion, too. He certainly moves around. That's uh, Dietrich going over. Hand pass coming back to Klomp. Couldn't pick it up. He's got it now. He got one around the neck, and he'll get a free kick. So it's Klomp to take the free kick about 45 metres out from goal. There he goes, the kick. Parsons with a chance here. Flies got his hands, but couldn't hold the mark. Going over the line with the ball was Sumner, and it's out of bounds. Right against the North Adelaide point post. They're nine points to Collingwood, 13. A difference of four points. We approach the 15-minute mark of this first quarter. Parsons again got a hurried kick back. Ball picked up by McEwen. Goes for a short pass. It'll be okay. Marked by Smith. 
got a chance to play on then went for a pass again it's picked up that time by uh, Dixon. Dixon's kick is over the half forward line, grabbed by Neville. Sure, he's off, I'd oh, reckon. Over oh. no, the umpire said no. Tiller was going to go for him. Back it goes to Manson and Arnold. Punched away by Arnold. Hits the deck now. Abernathy can't pick it up. He goes down. Finally, it's pushed out of the pack. All having a bit of a grab there, and the umpire will ball this up about 15 metres out from Collingwood's goal in the forward pocket position with Collingwood nine, a 13 put. There's the coach, Noonan of uh, North Adelaide, ex-Richmond player, two, 19 to 13 in favour of Collingwood. Out of bounds, a few metres from the behind post, 16 minutes gone, so four minutes left on the opening term. Well, a few guns is Mickey Noonan, play with Sturt, play with Norwood, play with North Adelaide. Well, I don't think we should say he's an ex-Richmond player, had a couple of games in which we should say that. Not many more, actually. Free kick going to North Adelaide, it'll be taken by Clisby. Clisby in the back pocket. There's plenty of distance with that kick. Picked up by Mullane. Mullane on right centre wing goes for a short pass to Tony Shaw. Tony Shaw, another short pass, but it's not a well-directed one. And the mark taken down there at the full-back position by uh, Tiller. Tiller out towards the right half-back flank. Arnold gets hold of Manson. Picked up by Tony Short, uh, left half forward flank. Shaw, a short pass, looking for Williams. Just about had him, but Tiller doing a good job down there so far. Williams looking for a free kick by holding the ball. There's none there. Dixon goes for a hand pass. Number eight comes out. That's Jarman. Back to Tony Shaw again. And everything for Collingwood so far on the opening term. He's their best player. Arnold right on his hammer. A short pass, and Dixon takes the grab in front of Jarman. Decides to play on quickly. Time running out in the first quarter. Manson over the top, couldn't take the mark. A snapshot for goal. Is uh, taken by Neville Shaw, but it's out of bounds on the full, I think it is. And it will be a free kick to be taken down there in the right back pocket for North Adelaide. People are sometimes critical of the fact that Tony Shaw doesn't cover a lot of territory with his kicks, but he knows how to get them. I'll say he does. Free kick to be taken by Armfield. 17 and a half minutes gone. Armfield goes for a short pass. It's okay. And the mark taken by Darren Jarman. Oh, here's a chance for Collingwood. A shot at goal by Dixon. He is off target, out of bounds on the full. And Darren Jarman just breathed again. I think he was as surprised as anybody. I thought they might have played his brother tonight, Andrew, who played such a slashing game the last time, but apparently he's still injured. He's got a broken rib, I think, Lou. Armfield again takes the free kick. And the mark this time taken by Hart in the left back pocket. And North Adelaide going the long way. That's a better kick. Covers a lot more distance up to the centre wing position. Carlaw almost took the grab, looked for a hand pass. Some soccer tactics, but it's not North Adelaide's uh, ball at the moment. Picked up again by Neville Shaw, down towards the right half forward flank for Collingwood, and out of bounds at the 18 and a half minute mark of the term. And it's four points the difference in favour of Collingwood, but they've had to struggle here to get uh, that uh, margin in front because Adelaide, North Adelaide's put plenty of pressure on them. It'll be Clisby and Cloak having a great battle there, punched away by uh, Smith. Picked up again that time by Tiller, and Tiller's a strong play. He'll never give in, I'll tell you that now. Neville Shaw going after it. There's a door, oh, they grabbed, uh, uh, that was Redden. Finally, it comes out now to Robertson. That's intercepted by Mullane, but the umpire said it was out of bounds when he went for the hand pass, and there'll be a throw in towards the wing position on the member's side. One goal, three nine points, North Adelaide to Collingwood, 2 1 13. Cloak got that down to Smith, stumbles. That's Clisby in there again. Was he in the back of his opponent? He was. That Smith will get the free kick. He's got a hand pass out to Mullane. That didn't do much uh, good to the side. The ball punched away from Hart by Cloak. Hart the Rovers quick to get away off the mark and drives it back towards the wing position. Fellows couldn't hold the mark, but it's pretty slippery. A stack up here as there'll be a free kick. To, no, it'll be a ball up. It'll be a ball up on that centre wing position still as we approach the... 20-minute mark of this first quarter, the second quarter final of the 1986 Fosters Cup. Going through that time was Hart got the ball tapped out. Picked up that time by Sumner back towards the wing position. Flying high was uh, was Campbell. Couldn't hold the mark. The ball pushed on by Moore. With plenty of fumbling going on by both sides because it's very slippery. Gafer gets a hand pass out to Mullane, but he goes down. But there's the siren to win the first quarter. It's two goals, 1-13. Collingwood to uh, North Adelaide, 1-3, 9 points.
Nashville Park. The Magpies by a margin of four points, 2 1 to 1 3 at the beginning of the second term. Collingwood kicking to the left in this quarter. Chance for Jarman to boot the Roosters into attack, which he does so. Long kick straight down the ground. Parsons misses it. McEwen right there with him. Chance for Sumner to pick the ball up, which he does so. Sumner goes for a short pass out to the centre wing position. Only finds Carlo out there. Boundary umpire having a pretty close look. He tries to get around Burgess. Did he run out of bounds? No. Ball still in play. Short up to Phillips, and Phillips takes the mark. Phillips, who will, of course, be in the South Australian squad to play Victoria next week, barring injury. Mark taken by Gafer. Gafer just up from the left back pocket, playing his first season of senior football. We've seen him in a couple of night matches so far. Riley. He did a great job against Doug Hawkins in the second half against Footscray, Pete. And that's not easy, Bob, is it? And Hawkins was running hot. They put him on to Hawkins, and he really quietened him as Antrim just takes a nice mark. Well, that's Hampton, I should say, first uh, mark and also will be first kick. He didn't do that much in the first quarter. No. And the kick not well directed. Burgess. Burgess from centre half back. Up to the wing position, and the mark is taken down there by Klump doing a fair job. I'll say he is. He's got to lose vote already, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, golly. <laughs> chance for the Roosters now having a shot for goal down there is Bennett that's not bad he's put it through it's a goal the Roosters in front that's a fine goal by Bennett and as Lou said uh, an excellent player from centre half forward against uh, the Demons and that was uh, typical as we watch on replay Bennett reading it beautifully off the hands of the pack a natural left footer and made no mistake at all so North Adelaide getting the first goal of the second quarter. And that came up just inside the two-minute mark. Bennett's first goal makes North Adelaide the leaders by two points in the Foster's Cup quarterfinal. 15 plays 13, just past the two-minute mark. Ball knocked out again by Rett, pushed away by Milan, goes to Antropus. He's going after a game, but Birch is with him. He's got a chance now to pick it up again. He does. He's in trouble. He spins out of the pack beautifully. They grab him. He can't get clear. Tries to get it out. Smith's there, kicks it off the ground. Back it comes to the centre of the ground now. Going down that time was uh, Campbell. Campbell couldn't get clear. Still plenty. That's uh, big uh, Murphy going in. Uh, let it go. And the umpire's found a free kick for him. Now, I don't know what that was for. That's Riley. Holding the man. Look. Holding the man. So Riley's got the ball there at the centre of the ground. Ready to send them back into attack again. Parsons there couldn't hold the mark. Oh, was that a sling around the neck? The umpire said no. Picked up here now by Jarman. Back it goes to Parsons again. A long shot up there towards Dietrich in front. Got his hands to it. Punched out. Grabbed by Bennett. Back to Dietrich again. A snap at goal, but he's up target. And it's through for one point. They're putting plenty of pressure on Collingwood. And when you think about the game, they've been into attack a lot more than Collingwood do. Yes, they've had plenty of opportunities as we see the North Adelaide interchange bench. Trenorden, Hay, Simmons. Difference in score is three points. 16 plays, 13 in favour of North Adelaide. And the Magpies won't want to take this crowd too lightly. Antropus going after it again. He scoots around the pack, gets away from Morwood, goes for a short pass wide. It'll be OK, and it's marked here by Hart, who played a slashing game against Melbourne the last time we watched them play in uh, at the football park. Kick is high. Deeply gets under the ball that time, couldn't hold the mark. Nicely picked up by Sumner, out wide now to Mullane on his own, right on the boundary line, goes for a pass, it'll be OK, and marked by Neville Shaw at half-back. So Collingwood finding it very difficult to get it over their half-forward line when they're going the long way around on this big ground, looking for Cloak, having a great battle there with Clisby. And the ball is out of bounds. Um, Phil couldn't pick it up for North Adelaide, but uh, it's down towards Collingwood's half-forward line, but a heck of a way around from their goal. It'll be Redden against Cloak. Knocked out by Redden, got over the top, Klomp smothers the ball, pushes it out again, picked up by Armfield, the ball shot back right on the boundary line, marked here by uh, Mullane. So Mullane, Lane's kick is over the half-forward line, at the back is Manson, couldn't hold the mark, well, neither the, uh, the, or either side can't mark it, and the umpire's going to ball it up, out there about 65 metres out uh, from the uh, Collingwood goal. There, two goals, 1-13 to North Adelaide, 2-4. 16 as we approach the five minute mark of this the second quarter final of the Foster's Cup. Very scrambly start to the second quarter apart from the goal to North Adelaide. Now it's Klopp with the chance. Klopp goes with a hand pass. On the run down there is Darren Jarman. He's gone for a pass up towards the half forward line. 
That will be a free kick for holding the man, going Collingwood's way to McEwen. And McEwen wasting no time. Goes for a pass, down towards the left half forward again. Opportunity for Collins. Collins's hand pass is not a good one. Gaper spins in at trouble and then out of trouble. Williams, a hand pass. That was fumbled. He gets it back again from Shaw. Snapshot for goal by the Collingwood skipper up towards full forward. Off the hands of the pack. Here's a chance for Abernethy. No, he can't soccer it through. Still in play. Armfield. And finally, it is rushed through and over the line by Tither for a point. And that takes Collingwood to 2 2. They trail North Adelaide by two points. Collingwood forward line not looking too hot. I think goals will be pretty hard to score tonight, Lou. Short pass to Riley. Long kick might be the order of the night. And that's a mark taken by Fellows. Pretty hard to get over the top of him. Fellows from left half forward. Kick is also a short one. Riley went through without the ball. Now he's got a second chance to make amends. Gets it out to Klomp. Tries to break the tackle from Smith. Can't do so. It rebounds to Williams. In pursuit is Wildy. Williams goes for a pass down towards full forward. The mark taken by Tiller. Tiller gets the hand pass out. Opportunity down there for Clisby. Clisby from the left halfback flank. Up to Carvor. And Carvor takes the mark on centre wing. Strong mark. One of uh, North Adelaide's uh, good players against Melbourne as well. Wood tries to punch the ball into the open spaces. Not successful. A hand pass coming out in the direction of Burgess. Burgess from right centre wing. Up to half forward trying to find Cloak. Went for the knock on. Couldn't succeed in getting it any further forward. Good tackle by Klopp. Loose ball. Half forward Collingwood. Wildy. Hand pass again over to Tiller playing well down there in defence. And that's a beautifully long kick. Back up towards the centre wing position. Morwood tries to claim the mark. A super optimist I think as he played that. Played it. Oh golly. The fellows, Tony Shaw, Shaw from the centre wing position. Mark almost taken by Abernethy. He's paying it, I think, isn't he? That's uh, generosity right. plus. Riley had a chance there. Jarman got one in the back. Jarman's kick is high. He doesn't cover much ground at all, and the mark is taken by Poynton. Could have been a 15-metre penalty, but it comes to Antrobus. Antrobus goes for the hand pass. North Adelaide looking good through Robertson now. Can he go for the long kick? Up towards half forward. Phillips leading well out. Out comes Dietrich. He's a long way from goal and Phillips clears it well. And it's back in the centre now. Redden goes wide. The big ruck went out uh, for North Adelaide to their half forward flank. It's picked up again by uh, Campbell. Campbell's pass is a beauty. Grabbed by Bennett. He gives a hand pass. Good play. It comes to point and a snap at goal but he's off target. And it's out of uh, three for one point. Oh, it's a goal. It's uh, very hard to pick from this angle, but nonetheless, we watch it on replay now. And Campbell gets the kick up to Bennett. Very much a left footer. Put the hand pass over to Poynton. And Poynton speared it through the centre. Right. Well, we're back. That was a goal. Looked a bit doubtful, but the umpire's in a better position than we are. The ball back into attack. They've got Collingwood in trouble now. McEwen couldn't get this a chance. Another goal now. Antipas goes. Oh, he got uh, Phillips. Will he get a free kick? Too high. And Phillips will take the free kick at the full-back position. Into the quarter by just on nine minutes. And Collingwood in plenty of trouble. They haven't looked good all night. Three goals, 4-22. There we see the Collingwood uh, interchange bench. Tim Lord. Lord, Darren Collins, Brendan Butch. Well, let's hope that Lord's found his contact lenses. 22 plays, 14. A difference of eight points. Apparently he hasn't found them, but he's put another pair in. Must be a pretty comfortable guy. <laughs> I'll give you a million and one finding a contact lens out there. Well, I know the Lord brothers and the Lord family. They wouldn't be short, I shouldn't imagine. I'll tell you what, you need to know the Lord <laughs> to find it. <laughs> the ball is kicked out wide towards that uh, half back line. There'll be a, a mark taken there by uh, Jarman. Jarman goes for a beautiful pass marked here by Carlaw. Playing well, Lou. Carlaw, they're playing well. They're looking good. They're playing a lot better than Collingwood. And of course, Carlo is only about 35 to 40 metres out. He goes for the kick, and that's a ripper. What a goal by Carlo. Twelve and a half minute mark of the uh, second quarter. 14 points, the difference in favour of North Adelaide. Kicked a short one by Shaw over to Gafer. Not a good hand pass. There's a chance now for the ball to be driven back by Campbell for North Adelaide, but marked here by Cloak at half back. Cloak's gone right across the ground. Didn't gain any distance at all, but he found Mullane. It might open the game up, but it's a bad pass. 
Chance now for Collingwood Burgess. Fumbles the ball. He caught one that time from Jarman. Going after it is Kerris, and he's got two to compete with out there. Carlos on his back, too. And the umpire's got to ball this up for sure on the centre wing position. Old squirrel grip out there. Well, I'll tell you what, they're a far more determined side than Collingwood. Their attack is better, and they're playing a lot get better together. And there's uh, Lee Matthews looking very concerned. Well, Andrew Jarman Jarman may have been your best player last time, Lou, but his, uh, his young brother's not a bad player either. That's Hart uh, driving the ball back over the half forward line. A good, strong mark to Clark. So Clark's, Clark's got the ball at centre half back. A quick hand pass comes out now. Ball driven back there by Collingwood Sumner. Sumner into the centre of the ground and it's marked by Burgess. Decides to go the, away from uh, Klopp. Kicks the ball over the half forward line. No one can take the mark. It hits the deck again. Once again it's hard. He's got one in the back from Shaw. Beautifully picked up that time by uh, Dixon. A shot at goal but he's off target. Not Collingwood's night tonight and it's through for one point. So it's two goals, 3.15 Collingwood. For North Adelaide, four goals, 4.28. Just over the four-minute mark, 14-minute mark of this uh, second quarter. Chance now for the ball to be picked up by uh, Wildey. Wildey's got the ball down there in the back pocket, drives it out wide towards the wing position. We see Bennett and uh, Ward having a battle, tapped on by Cloak again to Gary Shaw, but he's well collared. He got grabbed too high, the umpire said he'll get a free kick. He could have been a bit lucky. So uh, Gary Shaw now. Up it goes towards the high flyers. In front is Manson. Couldn't hold the mark. A hand pass coming out from Hartle. Riley knocks it on out towards uh, that Carlo. Who did pretty well there in the first, uh, second quarter so far. Drives it right across ground, but Cloak's in the way again. He's on his own. He's got plenty of time to place it somewhere as he kicks the ball long. But there's no one there for Collingwood. And there we see Clisby take a nice mark at centre-half back for North Adelaide. They're four goals, 4.28. To Collingwood really struggling. Two goals, 3.15 at the 15-minute mark. It's a 15-metre penalty there, too. Clisby gets the 15-metre penalty, which brings him up to the centre-half back position. Abernethy at the back tries to go the punch, and that's a mark for mine under these conditions to Big Redden. You've got to be impressed with the way they've, they're kicking the ball long, too. Redden's kick is long. Trying to find Dietrich, and he does, leading out in front of Phillips. And the barrel takes the mark. Kicked uh, 47, 48 goals, isn't it? I think Bob this year. In six games, yes. It's not bad. I think he's got 11 on uh, three occasions. So that's uh, a stat that speaks for itself. Grenville Dietrich. That wouldn't be his best kick of the year. No, I tell you what, it nearly bounced through. It nearly bounced through. But touched through for one point. And so he's kicked three points so far. 4 5 to 2 3 in favour of North Adelaide. And they're playing pretty well, especially in this quarter. Playing much better than Collingwood. And remember, in that score line of theirs, they have hit the post on two occasions. Phillips to the member stand side. Two on one in favour of North Adelaide. In fact, it's three on one. A hand pass comes out in the direction of Antropus. Now he can score from there. Has a shot at goal. The little rover, but he too is off target and has put it through for another point. So it could be costly to the Roosters. 4 6 now to 2 3. Collingwood have scored only two points in this quarter. And North Adelaide have added three goals, three. Budge, number 57, coming on for the Magpies. Phillips this time goes towards the outer side. Looking for Mullane. Tony Shaw. Some good soccer tactics there to get the ball into the open spaces. Klopp goes for a hand pass. Chance for the Roosters now. And having a shot for goal down there, that is uh, Jarman. And he too has brought up only one flag. 31 to 15. So this may prove costly for them. But there's certainly the more aggressive side at the moment, Robert. 11 scoring shots to five speaks for itself. Doesn't it? Phillips. And on this occasion, going straight up the ground. Still can't find a Collingwood player to mark it. Marking is difficult tonight. And Budge comes up with the ball, but it's going to be a bounce at centre-half back for Collingwood. They're showing a lot of sense. When to go for the mark, when to punch from behind. Cloak wins that one. Cloak not having a bad quarter either. Ball kicked back towards right half forward flank. And once again out of bounds. Knocked over the line by Campbell. And we'll see a boundary throw in. 17 and a half minutes into the turf. Well, Jarman's a very impressive player in the centre. I think he's had about 14 possessions up to this stage of the match, which is not a bad effort. 
picked up here by Antropus. He goes down. Smith's right into his back. The umpire said play on as Abernathy gets the ball back. But Collingwood finding it hard to score down there. Coming out to meet it now as Manson. He can't pick it up. He kicks it off the ground. Now he's in trouble. There's three of them there. Picked up by Tiller. Good play. As it comes out now towards Parsons. Back to Tiller again. They're playing well on top of Collingwood. Antropus couldn't get that one. Clomp goes after it. Tries to smother it. Goes for a hand pass. Hit the stone. Not intercepted, I thought, by Williams. And Antropus is there. Falls on top of the ball. The umpire will ball it up. Now he's going to give a free kick for in the bank. So they're well on top of Collingwood as we uh, approach well, the 18 and a half. Ball, they mark. deserve every kick they're getting. Well, they're a determined side. I think we said that before the game started. He bubble early into the first quarter. Back over their half forward line. It hits the deck again. That's Campbell in there with the thick of things with uh, the Collingwood player, Gafer. And there'll be a ball up about uh, 60 metres out from the North Adelaide goal. They're in front by 16 points, but they should be a lot further in front with the amount of play they've had. Uh, Cloak got a short kick out there towards the wing position, coming in to pick it up as pass, but it's out of bounds. So it's out of bounds on the centre wing position. With North Adelaide leading by 16 points and playing well on top of Collingwood. Well, pushed out that time by uh, Bennett. Oh, kicked off the ground. Lux of Fortune there with Sumner finally gets it out now. Over to Williams. Up towards the big forward uh, there. That's fell over, but he fell over. This allows Arnold to get the ball. But it's a bad hand pass. Knocked on by Shaw, but he was flattened that time by Wheelie. Strong play. Down goes Fellas. They pounce on top of him. He hasn't got much. Now he's got a chance, but they grab him again. Arnold threw him to the ground, and the ball is out of bounds. And they're really going after the Magpies. They've got no chance to get that break away from them. That was a good example where they made a mistake, but uh, then sheer desperation saw them not make up for the mistake but at least stop Collingwood from taking advantage of it. Well Arnold missed that one or kicked away by Jarman again doing a great job in the centre he's down there in the back pocket he goes out wide now to uh, Big Cloak on the centre wing position goes for a pass it's marked here by Mullane and Collingwood badly need a goal and we're just on the uh, half time siren. Should go any tick of the clock. Ball marked out but there's the siren and we see Sumner with the ball but I think he's too far out He's about, uh, oh, he'd be at least 50 metres right on the boundary line, but they badly need this goal because they're trailing by 16 points. But it's a shocking kick. It's out of bounds. So at half time in the uh, second quarter final of the Fosters Football Cup, it's North Adelaide, four goals, 7.31. To Collingwood, two goals, 3.15. Player in the second half of the match. North Adelaide leading by 16 points. Collingwood going to attack through Tony Shaw, but not for very long or very far. And umpire Kinnear again has decided on a bounce, or will he throw it up there? It doesn't bounce very high, predictably, after the rain we've had in Melbourne today. Manson tried to get the ball out. Good tackle by Klomp. And again, we'll see a bounce. He played that like a gridiron play. At least he gained 10, uh, ten yards, didn't he? Because he <laughs> counted it right down with him. 4-7 to 2-3 is our score. Predictably, the ball thrown. High this time, Redden's tap out, didn't go very far. Manson goes for a hand pass. Not a particularly good one. Oh, Antropus got grabbed a little bit too high, not seen by umpire Kinnear, which was uh, perhaps surprising. He was only a few metres away. He might have been behind a pack of players, and there were certainly many there. And so it'll be a ball up. and set a half forward now for Collingwood. The Magpies slowly working it down towards their full forward area. Kicked away by Klomp. Chance for Dixon. Chance down there for Tiller. Two North Adelaide players are there, and finally it's picked up by Darren Jarman. His kick around the boundary line towards Abernethy, but I think it's beaten him over, and it will be a boundary throw-in in North Adelaide's right back pocket. Number 30 is Manson, number 8 is Darren Jarman. No addition to the half-time score so far. Antrobus and Neville Shaw. Armfield kicks the ball over, not on the full. Actually rebounded off a knee. A little bit higher, and so again we'll see a boundary throw in, this time a little bit closer to the Collingwood goal. Magpie slowly working it forward. Over the top is Redden. Knocks it down to Antrobus, a pack of players descend upon him pretty quickly. And it's a real scramble at the start of the third quarter, and finally Antrobus comes out with a free kick at the two-minute mark of the term. And at 16 points, the difference in favour of North Adelaide. A good pass picked up here by Clisby at centre-half back. Goes wide. 
Oh, nearly a mark, but the umpire's calling play on, but showing a lot of pace that time as Robertson. He played a great first half, but that was a bad kick, and it's out of bounds. Deserved better. Certainly did, and uh, he's been one of their fine players tonight. Looks like he's on the wing now, Lou. Uh, normally plays as a wing, I understand. Played the first half as a ruck rover. But Collingwood's still looking, uh, still pretty ragged, and lacking a little bit of pace. Or kicked up by Burgess back towards the centre of the ground and marked by Clark. They've got to leave him on the ball. He puts a bit of fire into the Collingwood Rucks. Or kicked back towards that half forward line. Clisby having a battle there with, uh, with Manson. Hand pass coming out that time from Riley over. It goes to Campbell. Klopp gets it back now and in the back that time uh, to uh, Bennett. Back to uh, Riley again. Oh, oh, Klopp has caught too high, is it? Now it'll be a ball up. Certainly looked too high. It'll be a ball up uh, right on the edge of the square, out towards the wing position. Therefore, 7.31 to Collingwood, 2 3 15. Just over the three minute mark of this third quarter, the second quarter final of the Foster's Football Cup for 1986. Ball th thrown at that time, kicked off the ground by Sumner. Charge for Neville Shaw to pick it up. He does. Boots it down there. Manston in front, punched away by Tillip. He's a real goer, that fellow. Picked up by Summer again, coming down, backing up his own kick. The ball short, and you see the mark taken there by Dixon. Now he's well within kicking distance up. Gary Shaw got a touch of the stumbles there. Doesn't look too good. Uh, D uh, Dixon would only be about uh, 25 metres out on a slight angle and should kick this goal. Well, they certainly need it, Bob. <laughs> Understatement of the year, Lou. And as Bob mentioned during the halftime summer that uh, they collect all the money tonight, and he also did mention they're certainly not playing as if they want. They must be a pretty wealthy bunch, even after their 20 set percent, uh, percent cut. That kick is off target and it's through for one point. So it's four, uh, 15 points. No, what is it? 15 points, the difference now. Four goals, 7.31. Plays two goals, 4.16. Just over the four-minute mark of the second, uh, third quarter. They're always mo moving and working hard, North Adelaide. They're giving giving themselves something to kick to. Once again, Jarman puts it forward. And after that short kick from Redden, up towards the centre wing position, and the mark is taken out there for them by Campbell. There's a Bennett. Antrobus. Antrobus from right half forward. Started slowly, playing a little bit better in the second quarter, and now parts of the third. That's uh, Budge. On the gaper. Well, Abernethy it is. Abernethy in towards centre field. Tony Shaw takes the mark <laughs> in front of Clisby. Always a busy player, Tony Shaw. Kick on a good one from the Collingwood Rover, trying to find Manson, who went the knock on. Hit it straight into Armfield. Could have been a free kick against Tiller for around the neck. It is. Free kick going to Collingwood. Mark taken by Smith. Smith marking in front of Klopp. He's well within kicking distance, only about uh, 25 to 30 metres out from goal. They're an aggressive side, too. They have a go. They don't mind antagonising you either, uh, North Adelaide, do they? Well, they've got their confidence up at the moment. Well, they do that, although that's their style of play, Bob. So Greg Smith on the... Uh, well, he's within point blank range, really. Should be able to bring up Collingwood's first goal since the first quarter. He's done that. That goal by Greg Smith makes the difference now only nine points at VFL Park. Collingwood looking a lot better in this quarter and they certainly needed to play better because North Adelaide took the points in the first half. Chance for Smith again. Up towards the right forward pocket and the ball will beat everybody over the boundary line. McEwen tries to keep it in play but it was out over the line before he tapped it. And it will be a boundary throw in in their right forward pocket. North Adelaide really yet to go into attack in this turn. Nine points the difference. I see they've got McEwen in attack now too, Bob. He's a little bit loose on the d in defence, Lou. It'll be a throw in. Clisby against Manson. Well, neither got control of that one. Still plenty of fumbling going on again. And the umpire will ball it up about 15 metres out from the make by goal. They're 22 points to North Adelaide 31 as we approach the seven minute mark of this third quarter. The ball knocked back that time to Neville Shaw. It's smothered. Going after it now is Sumner, hand pass back. Klomp couldn't pick it up, it comes out wide. Spinning out of the pack nice, it was Campbell. Gets a good hand pass over to Tiller. Back it goes again, that's Armfield taking it away from that half back line for North Adelaide. There's Antropus right on his tail, it's Garrison. Garrison grabbed him, I think it might be a free kick to him. Yes, it was, he was grabbed when he didn't have the ball. So Antropus to take the free kick out there on the uh, centre wing position. Up towards the half forward line. There's the kick. Oh, the big fella Parsons nearly grabbed that, but it's out of bounds. So it's right on their half-forward line now, about 75 metres around from the North Adelaide goal. 31 points plays 22. 
Cloak against Parsons. Parsons got the tap down, knocked out by Williams, kicked back by Hart. The ball goes back towards that forward pocket. Picked up here now by Carlisle, runs to an open goal, fires it, skids along the ground, but it's off target and through for one point. That's their first score of the quarter, Luke. Coming at just on the eight-minute mark of this third quarter. Lou, it looks as though uh, Mark Williams has been given the job of going with young Jarman in the centre. Well, Jarman, uh, in my opinion, was just about the best player on the ground the first half. Yes, he was. Short kick off the top of the pack. Well picked up by Morwood. Back it goes to Ebenethy at uh, centre-half back. A long kick. That's what Collingwood have got to do. Go straight down the ground. But there's a strong mark taken there by... Uh, that's Wildy. Wildy's got the mark now for North Adelaide. The fence standing up pretty well as it goes out wide now to Ryle. This fellow's a darn good player too, Steve Riley. Antrobus, good pick-up. A real slips catch that time and takes the mark out there on the wing position. Eight and a half minutes gone. The ball back over their half-four line. Clark goes the punch down. Comes down to Tony Shaw. Well, showing a lot of pace, getting away from his opponents. Drives the ball back towards Collingwood centre-half forward position. Almost a mark taken down there. Now it comes out to Sumner. Sumner with left half forward flank has gone for a pass, not a particularly well-directed one. Loose ball almost into the 10-metre square. Opportunity down there for the Magpies to score. They still can't do so. Manson trying to get onto the right foot. Finally has a snapshot of goal. It's a point. And he can't believe it. And Tiller's a bit uh, sore and sorry down there. He, as Manson swung around, uh, Tiller came in. And on replay now, we see Tiller coming in and I think copped the elbow of Manson right in the face. Didn't do him much good. Number eight is Darren Jarman. Jarman out towards the centre wing position. I might say there was nothing delivered about it though, Pete. No, he didn't see him. Campbell's kick is a long one. Knocked back by Burgess. This is Big Parsons. Oh, not a good pass at all. This is picked up by Budge. Budge right on the boundary line on the outer side, which is about 400 metres from where we are. Jarman again. Short pass and the mark taken by Bennett. Bennett at the right half forward flank. Off the hands of the pack, almost out of bounds. Chance for North Adelaide to go forward here as it's picked up by Point, and he's hit the post. I think Poynton's hit it twice now. He's kicked a goal, but well, that's three times. The Roosters have hit the post, 4-9 to 3-5, making the difference now once again 10 points. Ten and a half minutes gone. Phillips goes for a short pass. He's kept Dietrich goalless so far. That was onto Kerrison. Out to Mullane. Back in turn to Burgess. Up towards centre wing. Please be in front. Got two hands to it. Couldn't complete the mark. Got dragged off the ball when he didn't really have it. Gary Shaw fires at the hand pass, trying to find Abernethy. Jarman is right there with him. Spit it at the Gary Shaw again. Shaw, left centre wing, short pass, tries to find Smith. who kicked Collingwood's goal in this quarter. Shaw, that's Tony Shaw. A short pass again over to his brother Neville. He has a snapshot. It's another one. Four points the difference. showing what it can mean if you get the ball forward in a hurry and have a little bit of movement on your forward line. And uh, the performance by Collingwood in this quarter in stark contrast to their first term. Smith to Tony Shaw to Neville Shaw and he finishes it off with a nice snap. But good teamwork and it came from quick movement of the ball down to the, ground, down to the forward line when it's not too crowded. Four points the difference at VFL Park. The ball onto the centre wing position. And Collingwood back into attack. That's Neville Shaw spinning out of it. He was grabbed and scrapped here by Mullane. Back to Williams. They're looking a lot better now, the Magpies, as it goes up towards their full forward position. They missed that as another chance for a goal. Kicked off the ground that time by Riley, but uh, Tony Shaw claiming that his own man kicked that. Now, he might be going for the free kick, I would say. He's got it too, right on the uh, boundary line, right against the point post. Decides to run around, he'll snap it, goal, and he put it through, a great goal, the Magpies are in front. 15 and a quarter minutes, Scott, in the, first, the uh, third quarter, 4-9 to 5-5, North Adelaide hit to score a goal in this term, Collingwood have scored three and now looking much the better side after being in total disarray in the second quarter. 
and the way the game has gone, Pete, you'd think that there was a heck of a win with Collingwood not scoring a goal in the second term and North Adelaide having trouble in this. Yes, but there's just about no breeze at all. Free kick going to Collingwood through the agency of Abernethy. Abernethy on the left centre wing. Ball dropping a bit short again at the back of Armfield. Punches the ball actually towards the Collingwood goal. Picked up by Tiller. And out of bounds. A boundary throw in, almost on the centre wing position on the outer side. I think they're starting to wilt a bit, uh, North Adelaide, Bob. There's a few of the Collingwood uh, players would know a lot about North Adelaide. Greg Phillips, Bruce Abernathy, Tony Burgess, Mark Williams, all former South Australians. And having a snapshot at goal is Dixon. That's not bad. In fact, he's put it through. It wasn't Dixon. It was Sumner. 4-9 to 6-5. 33 to 41 and Collingwood going right on with the job. It's a good goal by Sumner as Manson came right over the top. Neville Shaw giving it to Sumner and Sumner going on down the ground. Sumner started the game in defence. So Sumner's goal, putting Collingwood further in front now. Collingwood have now kicked four goals in this quarter and going right on with the job. But North Adelaide swing into attack up towards their half-forward line. They've yet to kick a goal in this quarter. Bennett goes with a hand pass to Big Parsons. This might be the one they need. It's long, it's high. I don't think too accurate. And through for only one behind. And the scoreboard now 14 to 6-5, a difference of seven points. Into this uh, third quarter by just over 17 minutes. And there's no doubt uh, Collingwood are looking a lot better now. Sure. Uh, it's Phillips out now to Burgess. Burgess takes the mark out there at half back. Slunk to the ground by Klump. Could be a 15 metre penalty, it is. A deliberate 15, that one, though. So it's brought him right over the half back line. Oh, there's a bad fumble that time by Gafer. He goes after it, gets a head pass back. Chance for uh, the ball will be knocked out now to Robertson. Shows a bit of pace. Oh, oh leaves well. Burgess for dead. Good play by Robertson as he sends the ball up there to Dittrich and, uh, and Phillips. But Phillips played it safe. Went for the punch. Real defensive football there and the ball is out of bounds. So it's out of bounds in the forward pocket position about uh, 15 metres around from the North Adelaide goal. They're 34 points to Collingwood 41. A difference of seven points. Well, they all missed that, the Ruckman. Still scrambly play there. Robertson spins out of the pack, a hand pass back to point, and he might have got this one. Now it's against again. That's the fourth time they've hit it for the night. And twice at least appointed. 35 plays, 41. So it's a goal, the difference. Into this third quarter by 18 and a half minutes. We wait now for the ball to come back into play by uh, Phillips. That's a beautiful kick and a magnificent pass out there to Smith on that half back line. He sends the ball round there looking for Manson. Manson taps it over. Tony Shaw's got to bend down. Right on his tail now is Wildey. But he's too small and too quick for him. He gets the ball back and a chance for Mark to McGill. And he's got it. He'd be about 50 metres out. He gives wow. a hand pass. I would have gone back for a kick. Gary Short coming in. He got one in the back. It's finally picked up now. That time by Arnold at four. Short and once again, Tony Shaw's got the ball. A hand pass to Abernathy. In trouble here again. But he still gets the kick over the half forward line. The play. Oh, nearly a mark to Neville Shaw. Umpire said no, it'll be a throw out that time to Arnold. A hand pass back to Antrobus. Another one coming out wide, picked up by Armfield. Out it goes now to Wildey, the ball out wide. In front there was Bennett, but good play on the part of Moore. And they're showing a lot more determination now, Colling, but they're really having a dip. Still a goal, the difference. 35 plays, 41. 19 and a half minutes gone of the third quarter. Ball tapped out by Cloak, picked up by Ward out there on the centre wing position over Collingwood's half forward line. At the back there was Red, and lost sight of it. Tiller picked it up, but he's grabbed by Manson. A hand pass coming back now to Armfield. They kicked the ball back to the wing position. Cloak gets a hand to it, couldn't hold the mark, tried to tap it on. Ball tapped out now to Tony Shaw. A hand pass coming out to Abernathy. He usually kicks the ball a pretty long way, and he has this time. Up there towards uh, McEwen and at the back there is Arnold who goes the punch. A beautiful knock out there and grabbed by Tiller. And they take the ball out towards the half back line. But there's no one there for uh, North Adelaide. Oh, he fell over. He's got a chance to be caught here. But good play. As we see uh, Gafer go for a short pass. Back it comes to Gafer again. Gafer's kick is off the side of his boot. But it's up towards the full forward position. Manson flies. Couldn't hold the mark. Little Dixon kicks along the ground. And Colin has got another goal. So Collingwood are playing far 
more pressure all over the ground now. An excellent piece of work by Darren Mullane. He knew that Gaifer was well out, well clear, and he did a nice piece of shepherding. Gaifer then put the short kick in, went on and took it back, and at the back, Dixon picking it up in fine style and putting it through for his first goal. And Collingwood giving North Adelaide a bath at the moment under these uh, rather wet conditions. Cloak. Ball up to half forward. Mark taken by Wildy. Short pass from centre half back trying to find Antrobus. That's got to be a free kick. Just about hit his head off. It's Mullane. Tiller. From half back up to the centre wing position. And out of bounds. No, Robertson's kept it in play. He's easily North Adelaide's best player in this quarter. A little bit more endeavour from a few others, and they'd be back in the game. But the ball over the uh, boundary line off the hands of Parsons. And on centre wing position, it will be a boundary throw in. 21 and a half minutes got in the quarter. North Adelaide hit to score a goal in this quarter. They've kicked only four points. Williams onto Jarman's made a big difference, Pete. Haven't sighted him this quarter, Bob. Campbell fumbles, actually gets ridden into the ground. R umpire Rick Kinnear says no free kick. Mark taken by Antrobus, very close to the boundary line, decides to play on, goes for a short pass, and that's effective. Campbell takes the mark right on the line. Looks for Dietrich Phillips at his side, at the back, it's a grab, and let's see who's got it. It's written, I think. Yes, it is. Well, the big ruckman is about 25 to 30 metres out. Here he is. It's an excellent mark by Redden state player one of about four state players in the side tonight they badly need a goal here to stay in the match and has he got it i think he has it's their first goal for the quarter 22 and a half minutes in ridden's first and north adelaide's fifth and they're only six points behind now but collingwood playing all over them so far in the term well, that was a real steady a robert it would be just the thing that uh, north adelaide need to possibly get them back and running again and leading into position uh, they've dropped their long kicking game and uh, started to go right round the boundary as we watch again the kick from michael redden vice captain of north adelaide a nice goal north adelaide's five goals kicked by five different players but remember they have hit the post on four occasions six points the difference parsons in the ruck now for the roosters Wins that one away from Cloak. Opportunity for Antrobus. Can he pick it up? The ball very slippery. Now he gains his balance. Fires out a 20-metre hand pass. Taken away by Poynton. Will he hit the post this time? He's done it twice already. No, he's missed it altogether. So Michael Poynton not having much luck in shooting for goal, but that point makes the difference. Five points now at the 24-minute mark of the quarter. And I'll tell you what, Bob, they won't throw the sponge in North Adelaide. They'll keep on coming back. And they'll keep at it, Lou. They'll keep at it as the ball comes out from Phillips out towards Cloak and Big Parsons. Bit of hanging on by both. The hand pass from Campbell out to Andrews. This looks dangerous. He's clear now. A left foot towards the goals. It doesn't make the distance. Dietrich and uh, Phillips. Phillips goes the punch again. He's not taking any chances. Going after it now. We see a uh, little... Uh Garrison and the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds in the forward pocket about uh, there's Lee Matthews. Looking pretty stern. Out of bounds about 20 metres around from the North Adelaide goal. Ball knocked out that time by Redden. The umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Robertson. He's been a fine player tonight. He's got the ball there about 20 metres out from goal. I tell you what, he's been a good player in this quarter. Well, he's had uh, 14 or 15 possessions tonight, and that's not a bad effort so far. He's got a chance to kick a goal. But it's uh, through for one point. Off target that time. So it's four points the difference. Five goals, 13-43 North Adelaide to Collingwood, 7-5-47. 24 and a half minutes gone. The ball out wide. There's a race going on now. Bennett coming out to meet it. Oh, Bud's got into his back. Would that be a free kick? He goes for hand pass back to point. And Morwood's right on his tail too. He grabs him. They stack up over there on that half. It's holding the ball again. So I thought he was pretty severe on point and then. So the free kick going to Morwood out there on that half-back flank position with the difference now only four points. So Collingwood have got a big game on the handy to win this one. Up goes Parsons. Couldn't hold the mark. Taken off the pack nicely by Klopp. A hand pass coming out wide. 
That's Campbell again. Over to uh, Antipas coming into the game in this last five minutes. He sends the ball back there towards their forward line or forward pocket position. Punched out uh, by Collingwood's defence. Then Parsons fumbled that. That allowed Williams to pick it up. Kick it wide. Looking for Neville Shaw. But it'll be out of bounds on the full. And a free kick will go there to the uh, North Adelaide captain, Tiller. He's out there towards the wing position. Kicks it back towards half forward. The back is passing, but uh, Cloak using a lot better judgment takes that mark at half back for Collingwood. Goes for a short pass. Dixon's got it there on the wing position. Over it goes. Doesn't know that wasn't a great kick. And there's a good mark taken by Carlo. Bit of class, this fellow, Luke. He's got a, he can play all right. They've got quite a few good players. And I think, as you said, Bob, they've got four representatives in the State of Origin match, haven't they? Coming back now and... Uh, Hand pass coming back that time from Jarman. He's been a bit quiet since Williams tagged him in this third quarter. Smith driving it back towards Collingwood's half four and a great mark taken there by Manson. Manson with a hand pass over to Smith. Got a touch of the stammers, a short kick. It didn't make much distance. And the mark taken here by Gary Shaw about 60 metres out from goal. Collingwood still in front by uh, four point, but they're struggling, still struggling to get on top of this crowd. Ball back towards the full forward position. Punched out that time by Arnold, and the ball is out of bounds. About 10 metres around from the Collingwood goal. There's Graeme Fellas watching his young son, Wes, play tonight. As Graeme played us such a great game in the 1958 Grand Final. It's one of Collingwood's premierships we can vaguely remember. Kicked out of the pack that time by uh, Dixon. Didn't quite make the distance, and the ball marked here again by Tiller. Played a pretty good game. He's played a real captain's game now as we see uh, Wildey take the mark there at half back. He tried to give a hand pass to Arnold. It wasn't a good one, but Arnold still grabs. He's gone over the boundary line. Pushed over. Well, Mullane <laughs> said, uh, well, the umpire said it was a side push, so it's out of bounds on Collingwood's half fall on about 70 metres around from their goal. Collingwood 7 5 47 to North Adelaide 5 13 43 as we approach the 27 and a half minute mark of this third quarter. Knocked down by Parsons, Smith diving on top of the ball, Williams beating them all to it, fires that a long hand pass to Dixon. Dixon in turn gives it over to Neville Shaw. His shot will be pretty close. McEwen knocked away by Arnold. McEwen goes for a hand pass. Abernethy, left foot snapshot, and he's put it through for a goal. Abernethy's first and a very handy goal for Collingwood coming up in the time on period, making the difference again 10 points. That's a nice piece of play by McEwen there. And, uh, Neville Shaw puts the ball up and swinging out towards the pocket and traps it well, McEwen. And a nice piece of shepherding after he gave it across to Abernethy. So a good team goal and Bruce Abernethy finishing it off. We've had 13 goals kicked. They've been kicked by 13 different players. Bruce Abernethy, uh, Abernethy. <laughs> anyone who want to buy a tongue. Putting through that one for Collingwood in the time on period. Campbell goes over, gets the hand pass out to Riley. Tackled by Smith. Riley, some soccer tactics to get the ball back to the centre wing position. Dixon probably will beat Armfield forward. He does. Riley comes in again. The tackle is good. Down it goes towards Tiller, but the ball beats him over the boundary line, and it will be a throw-in at Collingwood's left half-forward flank. Ten points at it, approaching the 29-minute mark now. Won't be a long quarter. Manson doing battle with Clisby. Ball picked up by Hart. Hart's kick is a high one. Cloak and Parsons. Campbell taps it out wide for the big ruckman, who does some shepherding. Hart picks it up well, right on the boundary line. Time running out for the Roosters. If they want to get a goal in this quarter, Antropus was the flyer at the back. No mark paid, and... Real scrimmage developing out there with Kerrison on top of the ball, but it's going to be a bounce at the right half forward flank now for North Adelaide. A long way from goal, but the siren goes to end the third term. An excellent one for Collingwood, turning a 16 point deficit into a 10 point lead. 8 5 53 to 5 13 43. Final quarter from VFL Park, 10 points the difference in favour of Collingwood in the second quarter final of the Foster's Cup. A great third term by the Magpies. They outscored their rivals, the Roosters, 6 2 to 1 6. And as we started the earlier quarters, scrimmage developing, uh, developing straight after the bounce. I tell you what, it's pretty cold tonight. Anyone wants to buy a tongue? Going cheap. Cloak and Redden. Knocked down by Redden. Good tackle by Abernathy. Prevents the ball getting too fast. Smith fires out a hand pass. Fairly loose. 
Out towards Sumner. Sumner gets it over and turns to Mullane. Mullane up towards the right half forward flank. Knocked away by Neville Shaw. Cargill goes down, but he shoots out the hand pass just the same to Wildey. Wildey's kicked back towards the centre field area off the hands of Morwood. Now a chance for the Roosters to go forward again. It's through Hart. Hart takes the hand pass or gives the hand pass. Out and turn to uh, Campbell. Up towards full forward again. Phillips doing a great job down there. He's kept Dietrich Golder so far. Campbell went without the ball that oh. time. That will be a free kick for a high tackle. I think it's Gary Shaw in the bottom of that little mess. It is. And Shaw gets up to take the free kick at the right half-back flank. Got a nasty one earlier, but recovered okay. Phillips. Collingwood running much better in the second half than they did in the first. This is Smith. Good hand pass. On to Abernethy. Abernethy from the left centre wing position. Two on one out there in favour of uh, North Adelaide. It was Arnold who gives out the hand pass. It's effective. Picked up by Cargor. Cargor's kicked back though to David Cloak at centre field. Long kick by the Collingwood Ruckman. Up towards full forward. Oh, Manson almost grabbed the mark. Hart on the bottom of that stack up. It's going to be a bounce at centre half forward for the Magpies who lead at the moment 8 5 to 5 13. Two minutes gone in the final quarter, still 10 points the difference. There's no doubt, Bob, that uh, Cloak makes a difference in the ruck for Collingwood, doesn't he? He looks a far better player in the, in the ruck and he just hasn't uh, well, been the centre half full that he was when he was at Richmond, has he? Well, it goes out to Mullane now, drives the ball back there towards Sumner and Hart. They both get under it. Uh, Dixon comes in, but he's right on the boundary line. But there's a free kick against. Uh, Collingwood will go to Hart down there at half back. So it's Hart with the ball now. Collingwood in front by 10 points. Knocked out by Cloak. Another stack up up there. And uh, the umpire once again will ball it up out, out there on Collingwood's half. Four line still about 75 metres out from their goal. North Adelaide must get the next goal, Luke. Certainly must. And, of course, it was a much better quarter, the third by Collingwood. It's the fourth quarter of the... Second quarter final of the Foster's Football Cup for 1986. The umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Williams. And let's say this too that Williams has done a very good job since half time when he had the job of, uh, or has the job of uh, tagging uh, Jarman. Well, Jarman's still been a good player, but he certainly was nowhere near as dominant once Williams went on to him. Off the top of the pack. Coming out of the pack is Carlaw. Back it goes to Arnold. Oh, oh, oh. He couldn't bend down. Pushed out by Riley to Hart. Out it goes wide to Campbell now in a bit of trouble. Tries to tap the ball over the clump. He does. Clump goes for a wild hand pass. Coming in to meet it now is again as Campbell tried to get it back to Arnold. They're fumbling around North Adelaide and the ball goes out of bounds. And this will suit Collingwood. The umpire might have paid a free kick. Uh, now it's going to be a throw in. On that uh, centre wing position down towards Collingwood's half forward line. Three and a half minutes gone of the last quarter. Cloak against Redden. Redden got over the back, picked up by Campbell again. That's a high kick back towards the centre wing position. One hand up that time by Moore. The ball punched on by Point, and it comes back now to Robertson. And as I said before, he's played a damn good game. The ball back up there towards Dietrich and, uh, and Phillips. Dietrich got one hand. Uh, Antipas going out. The little Garrison's there. Had him well covered and fourth through for one point. Bit of a go at Garrison. I think Antipas thought he might have got a free kick there. Yeah. Nine points the difference. Fifty five goals, 14. 44 uh, North Adelaide to Collingwood 8-5-53 uh, just over the four minute mark of the uh, last quarter. Ball out of bounds or it's very close to being out of bounds. Forward pocket no. Smith tackles still in play. Down goes Pointed. Smith dives on top of him but it will be a bounce by umpire Rick Kinnear. They'll plug away right to the end uh, North Adelaide. They won't throw it in so if Collingwood's got that lead what of uh, nine points. Nine points. It's not uh, nearly good enough uh, Peter. Well if they get the next goal it's a real ball game here. Knocked away by Cloak, picked up by Robertson, tackled by Gary Shaw, almost holding the ball. Hollywood fans looking for such a decision, but none there from the South Australian umpire. Knocked away by Cloak, doing a great job. Hart tries to pick it up and subsequently kick it. Pushing the back, going Collingwood's way. Might be Kerrison's kick, or is it Tony Shaw's? Tony Shaw to take it. Tony Shaw right on the boundary line. From the half-back line, knocked away by Manson, picked up by Williams. Ball booted up towards the centre wing position now. In comes Abernethy. Good tackle by Armfield. Smith, short pass, up to half-forward. Chance for McEwen, a little bit too slow. Slings his opponent when he didn't have the ball. Hart tries to pick it up, he gets tackled pretty quickly. It's a real uh, scramble out there at the moment. And umpire Robinson this time will ball it up. Not the most stylish football in the world, is it? No, certainly not the most stylish, but the score is pretty close. And if North Adelaide 
can get the next goal, they're certainly back in with a chance. McEwen going to contest with Redden. Redden wins that one convincingly, taps it down to Hart. His kick is a short one, back towards the wing position, knocked away by Morwood. Inboard it goes, and take, Morwood takes the hand pass from Mullane. Ball rebounds, excellent smother down there. Pointing again, he was grabbed, but he didn't have the ball. Must get a free kick. He's hit the post twice. Hasn't had much luck in kicking for goal. This time, though, doesn't do uh, that. and goes for a short pass, and the mark taken by Wildy. Wildy about uh, 45 to 50 metres from goal. Need to be an excellent kick from there under these conditions to score. Into the 10 metre square, cloak in front. Antrobus can't pick it up. Picked up by Gafer. Gets it out to Mullane, very close to the boundary line. Did he keep it in play? Up, no, no he didn't. Just over the boundary line, and so a throw in in North Adelaide's left forward pocket. Six and a half minutes gone. Final quarter. Nine points the difference in favour of Collingwood after an excellent ter third term in which they kicked 6 2 to 1 6. Well, they all missed that one. Finally, Cloak slams it further forward. Mullane's hand pass. Tried to find Gary Shaw. In goes Gafer. Back it goes to Mullane. Over the head of Hart. Wildy's there likewise, but number 23 for Collingwood. Neville Shaw is opposite. Number takes it out of bounds. Still nine points the difference in favour of Collingwood. It's on uh, North Adelaide's half four line. This time it's about 60 metres around from their goal. The back is Williams. He got the tap down and a good one too. Right on the hands of uh, Neville Shaw at half back. Chance for Manson. He's grabbed it out there on the centre wing position for Collingwood. Then uh, nine points in front. Oh, he's gone back 25 metres to give it to Gary Shaw. And Gary Shaw's kick is a hurried one. This is giving Armfield a chance to get away from Sumner. Back it goes there to Carlaw right on the boundary line. And it'll be out of bounds. But luckily for Collingwood, it's on their half forward line. I don't know why Manson hand passes back so far when he could have had a long kick, which Collingwood need at the moment to get this goal to get a decent break away from North Adelaide. Well, Manson missed that one. Dixon couldn't get out. And once again, there'll be a ball up. Well, there's been plenty of these tonight, hasn't there? He's in a little terrier that heart. It's a goer. Well, they've got plenty in their lineup, uh, North Adelaide. Neville Shaw goes after it. Robertson's there with him, and so is Hart. This is picked up now by uh, Tiller, or was it Hart? Was Hart picking up now? It's Neville Shaw driving it back there towards the forward pocket. Arnold goes the punch, or pushed out by Carlo. Back to Arnold again. And this is uh, Clisby picking it up now. Goes for a short pass and a good mark taken there by Wildey out there on the centre wing position. So it's Wildey's kick, but it's a high one. Doesn't uh, make much distance in front as Cloak goes the punch on. Cloak had a chance to come out. Uh, Morwood finally got it out. It was kicked off the ground, pushed on by Smith. Grabbed by Jarman again. Back over the half forward line for North Adelaide. But there's a good mark in defence taken by Gaifer. He's down there in the back pocket. Into this quarter by just on nine minutes. Collingwood still nine points in front, and they're still struggling to get away from this crowd. Coming in is Mullane. Got the ball in front of him. The ball is tapped on, but it's out of bounds. About 70 metres around from the North Adelaide goal. North Adelaide 5 14 44 to Collingwood 8 5 53. So a boundary throw in at the left half forward flank for North Adelaide. Just past the nine minute mark of the final term. 33 is Cloak, 14 is Hay. 21 Williams who actually got that one out tried to find Neville Shaw he fumbled finally driven up by uh, Collingwood towards their right half forward flank Clisby goes for the hand pass now it's Smith who gets knocked over pretty quickly and it will be a bounce on centre wing as Lou said before We've seen a few of those tonight under these very slippery conditions light rain still falling it's ever so light hardly discernible but it's there knocked away by Sumner Opportunity for Cargo to pick it up, which he does so. He's looking for a hand pass, intercepting down there is Sumner. Back to Smith, might be out of bounds. It is, and it will be a boundary throw in at Collingwood's right half forward flank now. Ten minutes gone, final term. North Adelaide still very much a chance here, but they are finding goals and scoring pretty hard at the moment. 42 is Redden, 30 is Manson. Redden wins that one. And it's a holding the man decision going to North Adelaide. Who's it going to? Robertson. Robertson, Pete. Up the centre wing and cloak. Empire's found a free kick for a push in the back. He's going to cloak. Playing in front, a little bit slow on the whistle there. Cloak now. Knocked down by Clisby. 
Manson right there with him. Uh, Clisby trying to get clear. Finally does clear the ball. A high kick. Up towards centre field. Manson up to uh, uh, Morwood. Morwood right at the point of the square. Hooks it back whence it came towards the centre field area. Riley doesn't get a favourable bounce. Tries to get round three Collingwood opponents. They're all under him. Williams. Williams has kicked the Collingwood captain up towards half forward. That's a good mark. This is Ryan who's just come onto the ground. Now it's McEwen, I beg your pardon. McEwen from half forward. A fair way from goal, he'd be about uh, 45 to 50 metres. It's a mammoth kick just the same. I tell you what, that is a ripper kick. A great kick by McEwen. I can't work McEwen out. He was going to try and pass to someone, Bob, and uh, he is a good kick. And I just can't understand players thinking. Can you ask for time? Well, I don't... Goal and Collingwood in a very handy position now. 44 plays 59. Ball up towards the half forward line. Poynton should get there first if he can. Yes, picks it up well. Can he score from there? He hasn't scored a goal yet. Up towards their full forward position. Dietrich comes out and it's a real stack up. A bounce will take place right on the edge of the kickoff line. I know they fall over, but uh, by God, that's nearly a hole in the ball against Gay for Bob because he, he just smothered the ball and uh, the other guy from Port, uh, North Adelaide certainly held on to him. Ball comes out, Crashaw. The ball pushed through that time by... Uh, by, by uh, Hay, it was, just coming onto the ground. Ball out of bounds, about uh, 45 metres around from the North Adelaide goal. They're trailing by 15 points, 5-14-44 to Collingwood, 9-5-59 as we approach the 13-minute mark of this last quarter. Knocked down by Cloak. Smith's kick uh, went nowhere. Actually kicked uh, Klopp in the shin that time as they stack in again. And once again, we'll see a ball up. Still about 40 metres out uh, from the North Adelaide goal. They've got to get a goal here now if they're going to have any show because tonight 15 points is a fair margin the way the game's been going. Cloak went for the big one. Gay for missed it. Pushed on by Carrison. Grabbed by Antropus. He goes down. Hits it back to Klomp. A hand pass comes out now to Robertson. In my opinion, their best player scooting around the pack. Finally kicks it deep up there towards the full forward position. Dietrich at the back. Got his hands to it. Beautiful mark. Got one on the back of the nut that time too. He's only about... Uh, Seven or eight metres out directly in front. On replay now, you see a lovely mark by Dietrich. Judge that one to perfection. Well, going for goal number one. I think he's kicked uh, th three behinds. There it is. What's the result? A goal. A goal. So they've still got a chance. Six goals, 14, uh, 50 points. North Adelaide to Collingwood, 9, 5, 59. There's still plenty of time, not quite halfway through the term yet. And uh, being able to answer that goal uh, has put North Adelaide back in with a chance again. As we see the replay now, Robertson, who's been an excellent player. And it looks as though Robertson's back on the ball now. Set a bounce again, only nine points the difference. North Adelaide with a, a chance now as the ball goes back in the check by Jarman. They got a chance again, there's Hart running into an open goal. And I think he might have put it through, he has. And Collingwood still in plenty of trouble. And look at the North Adelaide fans going mad here. There's not many of them, but they're sticking up for their side. 7-14-56 to Collingwood, 9-5-59. Only three points the difference now. On replay, we see Redden, an excellent piece of ruck work. Jarman, who's still a good player, point and takes it. A hand pass over the top to Hart. And Hart, who's been a fine player from the moment this game has started, uh, always in there, giving his heart and soul, so to speak. <laughs> well, I said they wouldn't uh, throw the sponge in, Bob. I knew them from old Bob, uh, Pete, didn't we? You did. Three points the difference. 16 goals have been kicked in the match, and the interesting thing about that is 16 different players have kicked them. They've got a chance to get another one, North Adelaide, as Kerrison goes the punch. It rebounds out to Gafer. In pursuit out there is Dietrich, but it's out of bounds. It beats him over the boundary line, and there will be a boundary throw it in North Adelaide's left forward pocket. 56 players, 59. So the Roosters still in with a real chance. Maybe their inaccurate kicking will upset them. 7-14, Collingwood 9-5. And it goes to Jarman. He can't do much with it. Finally, it's Morwood. 
Kicked it out past Robertson. Wildy might get there first, or is the boundary line too close? He's picked it up. Might still be in play. It certainly is. Tony Shaw got underneath it. Couldn't take the mark. Got one in the back, though, says the umpire. And Tony Shaw will take the free kick at the right half-back flank. Three points the difference. It's a real thriller at VFL Park. Shaw's gone for a short pass. Kerrison takes the mark. Didn't really gain much. Kerrison just short of right centre wing. One of the rookies in the Collingwood squad. We saw him in the previous night match here. Mark taken by Big Ritten. Not a bad player, isn't Luke? No, he's not a bad player either. Ridden out towards the centre wing position. Yeah, well, that's uh, Simmons, who's just come onto the ground. The high kick up to Dietrich, knocked away by Phillips. Pointing right on his hammer, but the ball beats him over the boundary line. And it'll be a boundary throw in about 30 metres from goal. In North Adelaide, left forward pocket once more as we approach the 17-minute mark of the final quarter. And the Roosters have really fought this game out tooth and nail as we expected. 51, Gafer. 33, Cloak. At the back is Morwood. Thumps it down. Not too far. Morwood again. Knocks it further forward. Picked up by Antrobus. This way, that way. Now he's given a short pass out to a teammate. That's Robertson. He has a shot at goal. It's going close. A goal will put them in front. I think he's done it. He has. North Adelaide in the lead. 8-14 to 9-5. Points in front. 62 plays, 59. And they've got a big chance to go into the yeah, first semi-finals. The ball is knocked out again by Kerrison. Going after his Campbell. Couldn't pick it up. Now it's picked up by Robertson. The best player on the ground as he beats it up there towards Dittrich. And, uh, and Dittrich's got it. That'll be a mark. Oh, that was a real pressure job. Yes. He's kicked one goal already. One goal, three. Phillips, Phillips trying to say that he touched it first, but uh, oh, no doubt it was a clean. mark. Oh, great no grab. doubt at all. Great grab by uh, Dietrich. Pretty acute angle, Luke. Well, he might kick this because he's a pretty accurate kick for goal. He's taking plenty of time to do it. And if he kicks this one, it'll make the difference. Nine points. Make the difference, nine points. It'll make it mighty hard for the Magpies to pick up that uh, leeway. Running on it now, the kick. Oh, he missed it. Oh, I think he might have missed it. He has. So it's four points, the uh, difference. And the Magpies chance are still alive. 63 uh, plays 59 a difference of four points into this last quarter by uh, just on 20 minutes so there'll be about eight minutes to go i'd reckon ball back into play by phillips out there towards morwood hay was into his back picked up this time by jarman a long snap at goal but he's off target and the ball is out of bounds on the full and a penalty free kick will go to phillips down there in the back pocket well, big uh, Dietrich has kicked uh, one goal four. I think that's his tally for the night. So that's not like he's true form when, when it comes to shooting for goal. Punched away that time by Red. Has a go now for Simmons to pick it up. He ran into a brick wall into Buds. Burgess gets the ball back. Has the chance now. As we see the hand pass coming out for Wilde. Up to uh, Antrobus. A shot up there towards Dietrich again. Oh, that'll be a mark to Hart, I'd say. That was a gutsy mark. What a Certainly mark. Was. Certainly was. And they're putting pressure on uh, Collingwood now. And if Hart can kick this one from about 15 metres out. Now, this is real courage. A great mark there by Hart. Well, he's played a pretty good game tonight, but he's had a lot of mates. He's only about 15 metres out. On a pretty acute angle. At the same angle uh, on the other side that uh, we had Dietrich on. Here he goes. There she is on its way, and the result... Oh, they're letting Collingwood all the time. It's only five points, the difference now. 64 plays, 59, and Lee Matthews looking pretty concerned, but he'd be pretty happy about that kick, I should imagine. Phillips brings the ball back into play. There's Misty Rain getting perhaps just a little bit heavier. Tony Shaw at the right half-back flank looks for Kerrison. Up to centre field. Knocked away by Armfield. Out onto the wing position and Carbor gets clear of Neville Shaw. Short pass. Might find Gouldy close to the boundary line. The ball at the surface of the ground. Very slippery. Antipas handles both well. Short pass. Trying to find Simmons. Has he got him? No. Simmons uh, uh, back to Hart. Almost thrown out. That was by Klopp. Back to Simmons. A long shot at goal. Is out of bounds on the full. <laughs> oh. They're giving the Magpies chances, Bob, aren't they? Yes, they really deserve their lead. They deserve to be a little bit further in front, actually. Phillips again. 64 plays 59. Five points in it. Who's going to go into the semi-final? Kerrison. Simmons. Jarman. Antrobus. 
Over the top of Budge, Poynton, long hand pass, and he's handballed it through for a point, I think. Well, that was something. He couldn't kick it. They've got a point, another one, 8 17, 65 to 59. Six points, a valuable lead now. Collingwood must get a goal to level. Off the hands of uh, Jarman, it was. Loose ball, half forward for uh, the Roosters. Ball socket up towards the centre wing area. It's out of bounds, and we'll see a boundary throw in adjacent to the interchange area. Mark Williams, the Collingwood captain, looking for inspiration. Let's see if he can get the ball away from this uh, ruck duel. Over the top, Manson picked up by the big North Adelaide ruckman. That was Redden. Now it's back to Antrobus at right half forward flank. Antrobus a long kick up towards the full forward position. Knocked away by Kerris. And here's a chance for Poynton again if he can get clear. He's tripped up. No free kick. The ball very, very slippery. It's like a piece of soap out there. And we'll see a boundary throw in as it removes Kerris over the boundary line. Only a couple of metres from the behind post. 23 minutes gone. A goal the difference. In favour of North Adelaide. The ball out of bounds right against their point post. A goal here be fatal for the Magpies. Knocked out by Cloak, a fumble by Smith. Well, the umpire will ball it up again, but this gives them a big chance. A point will do, I reckon, Bob, because that'll put them seven points in front. And while they're keeping it down there, Lou, the clock is ticking away. So into this quarter by uh, just on 23 and a half minutes. This game slipping away from Collingwood as Morwood comes out of the pack. A hand pass over to Karras and he fumbles. He copped the heavy bump from Antipas that time. That was a good bit of play. Fair bump. And it's kept the ball pretty close to their goals. They're in front by a goal. Cloak against Hay. Warwood juggles the ball, runs into a brick wall, picked up now by Smith, a hand pass, he got one around the neck. Abernathy couldn't get clear. Well tackled that time uh, by... Uh, I think the umpire was Campbell. going to pay a free I think kick, he was, then, he paid yeah, the advantage. Then role. thought Collingwood had the ball. Well, out of bounds, still on the half forward line for North Adelaide. The lead by a goal. At the back is Williams. He got the knockout. Campbell fumbled the ball. Three Collingwood players fall on top of each other there, and the umpire will still ball it up on the North Adelaide half forward line. There are goal in front, 8 17 65 to Collingwood, 9 5 59. It'll be a long quarter, Lou. 25 minutes just about gone. Still another scramble. This is certainly suiting uh, North Adelaide uh, holding up play here. Time uh, running out for the Magpies. Almost into time on, Luke. Almost into time on. About uh, 20 seconds to go for time on. The ball knocked out by Cloak. The sure had no hope of getting out. Throws the ball out. Antropus coming really to this game now in this last 10 minutes. Boots the ball back towards that centre half forward position. There's Deep. Dick. He's got another one. He could nearly kick this, Lou. Well, he could. He's a long kick. It's a pretty heavy ball. Is he going to go for a pass or a long kick? There's the kick on its way. <laughs> It's a but it's a point. point, it's a valuable one. It puts them seven points in front now. And Collingwood's chances are looking pretty grim. Eight goals, 18-66, and they certainly deserve to be in front of them with the way they've played tonight. The 9-5-59. Now towards Neville Shaw. Right centre wing, he's got a paddock to move in out there. Collingwood need a goal very quickly. They've got to score twice to draw level, remember? Arnold should get to the ball first. He does so. He's caught by McEwen. Did he have it? No, it's out of bounds. And a boundary throw and will take place on Collingwood's right half forward flank, but a long way from their goal. 25 and a half minutes into the final term. North Adelaide lead by seven points. They beat Melbourne in the first round. Can they tip out Collingwood tonight? Manson knocks the ball down. Now it comes to Jarman. Tries to get it out to Cargor. He stumbles and fumbles at the crucial moment. In goes Tiller. Free kick going North Adelaide's way. That'll certainly suit them. And the free kick will go to Cargor for a push in the back. A lot of uh, skills, this fellow. Eight kicks, three marks and five handballs. He's gone for a short pass. This and that's effective. It's marked by Riley. Well, they're just slowing everything up there. Doesn't matter, Pete. Well, the clock on the scoreboard showing 26 and a quarter minutes gone, so that's good tactics indeed. It's now out of bounds and touched off the hands, and so a throw-in will take place on centre wick. Well, Collingwood looked as though they were going to run out winners in the third quarter. They're quite content to pack it up and move around the boundary. 42, Redden, 33, Cloak. Knocked down by Redden. Williams tries to get into the open spaces. North Adelaide players not letting any Collingwood player loose at the moment. Now they've got a chance. Free Simmons. Kick. Umpire's found a free kick for holding the man. It'll go to Robertson, probably the best player on the ground. He kept uh, North Adelaide in it in that third quarter when Collingwood tried to overrun them. And has played well right throughout the night. Two Collingwood players at the back. Morwood had the sit, couldn't take the mark. 
It's left to North Adelaide to go forward. It's booted up by Wildey into the 10 metre square. Phillips, oh, he's missed it. He doesn't want to carry it through, though. He goes out wide towards the pocket, and the mark taken by Wildey again in front of Moore. The umpire will pay it. And Wildey has a chance to really seal the game, although I think they're just about home now at the 27 and a half minute mark. Seven points the difference, and Wildey to shoot for goal. On replay, we see Wildey's mark, and I'm sure he'll take plenty of time to dispose of this ball. And when he does dispose of it, I feel it'll be the long kick towards goal. Maybe even through. No more than about two minutes, two and a half minutes to go. I think Collingwood have lost this. And North Adelaide into the semi-finals. The kick is off uh, target and through for one point. But it doesn't matter. It's down their end. And it's going to take a long time for the Magpies to get it down to their attacking zone. They need it down twice for two That's, goals. I couldn't see them winning. 69 plays... 67, I should say, plays 59 as we wait on Phillips to go for a short pass. I wouldn't mess about with I'd go for the long kick straight down the centre. I was calling it with time running out for them. There's the siren and North Adelaide go to the semi-final. Congratulations, a great effort here tonight. North Adelaide, eight goals, 1967 to Collingwood, 9559. And what a win it was for them. And I think we did say in that uh, third quarter when Collingwood did lead, I think at one stage by about uh, 12 or 15, po 15 points, I think it was. You can't write them off. They got a quick goal within nine points. They bounce back again, and uh, once they hit the front, well, they never let Collingwood in the race. They never got it over their half four. They bottled up play, and they would have been a very stiff side to lose this match. A fine effort, and uh, it's great to see a South Australian team into the semi-final of the Fosters Football Cup, Peter. Yes, it is. They trailed by 10 points at the final change. Led by 16 points at half time. Collingwood kicked 6 2 in the third quarter to 1 6. In fact, right throughout the night, North Adelaide's kicking let them down, as we mentioned on quite a few occasions. They hit the post on, uh, I think it was at least uh, four times, but they managed to win out in the end, kicking 3 4 in the second quarter, 1 6 in the third term, 3 6 in the final quarter. For an analysis of 8 19, Collingwood kicked 9 5, and we had 17 goals kicked, 17 different players kicked them. So that's a, a very unusual piece of trivia. But the important thing is North Adelaide winning through to the first semi final of the Fosters Cup. The final scoreboard North Adelaide 8 19, 67, Collingwood 9 5, 59. The triumphant Roosters flew home today crowing about their humiliating defeat of Collingwood in the Fosters Cup quarter-final. Trailing by 15 points well into the final quarter, North powered on to win the game by 8 points, a win they're still smiling about. The 20 players return home bruised but happy with their success. The Adelaide side humiliated the beleaguered VFL team in conditions more suited to Collingwood. Collingwood skipper Mark Williams and fullback Greg Phillips also flew into town for state of origin training, but Williams was reluctant to talk about the defeat. One man who was talking was North Adelaide coach Mike Noon. I think the Victorians were quite surprised at the, our standard of skill, but um, as you know over here that's what we train a lot on and uh, also we, we ran the game out a lot better than them. Noonan also praised the efforts of man of the match David Robertson, who almost single-handedly kept the Roosters in the game in the third quarter when Collingwood made their late charge. Noonan says he'd prefer to strike Essendon in the semi-final, but the team has learnt valuable lessons from the competition. Uh, I think the way we've started to perform and what we've learnt from it's been very, very good as far as our club's concerned and also, I think, South Australian footy. Noonan says the Roosters will be without the services of reliable defender John Riley, who flies overseas in the next couple of days. That was Sport, Mike McCann. Thanks, John. Good evening, everyone. Well, two down and two to go. That's the confident Foster's Cup football program mapped out for South Australian glamour team North Adelaide. The Roosters flew home from Melbourne today, celebrating last night's quarter-final win at VFL Park over Collingwood and, and looking to go even further. They're being hailed as Mike Noonan's giant killers, with first victory over Melbourne and then last night an even more meritorious win over a fast-improving Collingwood. And now, those across the border are starting to take notice. Collingwood coach Lee Matthews, shocked at the way North fought back from 15 points down in the final term, was also amazed at the skill level displayed by the Roosters, and in particular, the consistently spectacular marking in the wet. The performance may have VFL administrators reconsidering their plan to involve a South Australian composite rather than club side in a national competition. Well, I'm not sure what uh, we can say or tell the VFL. Um, I can only speak personally that uh, I'm a great supporter of a club-based competition. 
Um, and I think what we're trying to do is say that um, a club with limited resources like ourselves, but managed correctly, can be at least competitive. And I think we would have been even more competitive given a surface like Football Park. The semi-final on June the 3rd will also be at VFL Park between the winner of the clash between Victorian Giants Hawthorne and reigning Premier Essendon. And Mike Noonan is gunning for the Bombers. I think we've got a preference for Essendon actually because uh, um, it's been purported that uh, this is a very, very good side so why not take on the best and that's the only way you can learn or get better. Well, like South Australia selectors, Victoria selectors have the difficult task of pruning 20 players from the present squad of 44.